In today's video, I'll be showing you the most optimal Ethernet settings to use for gaming. The settings I'm about to show you in this video will help reduce your ping, help you get lower latency and also improve your internet speed. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So the first thing that we're gonna do is create a restore point. If you know how to do this or if you wanna skip this step, which I wouldn't recommend, you can skip forward a minute into the video. The reason I recommend creating a restore point is that if these settings don't work out for you, you can simply restore back to your default settings at any point of time. To create the restore point, you need to click on start and search for restore point. Click on create a restore point. Now inside of this window, you need to first click on configure, then click on turn on system protection and then under disk space usage you need to set a small amount of storage that is going to be used to store your restore points so you can set this value anywhere between one and three percent once you do this just click on apply and okay now click on create here just set a name for your restore point i'm just going to set the current date and then click on create this is going to take a few seconds and now our restore point is ready press close and then ok now once the restore point has been created we can start modifying our ethernet settings to do that simply click on start and search for control panel and then click on open now if your control panel looks like this just click on view by and set this to category here click on network and internet network and sharing center and then on the left, you need to click on change adapter settings. Now in this window, if your PC consists of more than one network adapters, just look for your ethernet adapter and double click on it. And under the ethernet properties, just click on configure. Then just click on the advanced tab. And now these are the advanced settings that we're going to be modifying. So first you need to disable all the settings that I'm about to show you right now. Disable advanced energy efficient ethernet, ARP offload, auto disable gigabit, energy efficient ethernet, flow control, gigabit light, green ethernet, interrupt moderation, IPv4 checksum offload, jumbo frames, large send offloads for IPv4 and IPv6, both for the maximum number of RSS queues. It doesn't really matter what you set the value to because we're going to be disabling RSS later anyways. Network address, we're going to leave this to its default setting. NS offload is going to be disabled as well. Disable power saving mode. Priority and VLAN, we're going to leave it to enabled. For receive buffers, you need to simply click on the small up arrow until you find the maximum value that your network adapter allows you to set. And that is the value that you're going to keep. Next, disable receive site scaling or RSS. Now coming to speed and duplex. In my previous videos, a lot of people have pointed out that when they set their speed and duplex to the maximum possible value, their ethernet stops working. So for this setting, what I would recommend is that you simply set this to the maximum value and save your settings. And then if your ethernet stops working, you need to come back into your advanced settings and bump this value down to the second highest value along with full duplex now let's say you have a 500 mbps package and your second highest value is 100 mbps in that case you need to simply just set this back to auto negotiation and that is going to help you get the maximum speed that your isp is providing next we're going to disable all of the checksum offloads so for both tcp and udp for transmit buffers, we're going to do the same thing that we did for receive buffers. So just click on the small up arrow until you find the maximum supported value. And that is going to be the value that we're going to use. For the VLAN ID setting, we're going to leave it to its default value. And next, just disable any of the wake on settings. Finally, for the shutdown and link speed, you need to set this to not speed down. And once this is done, just click on OK. Now this is optional, but you can restart your PC to apply the settings properly. And with that, we have applied the most optimal Ethernet settings for gaming. If this video helped you out, make sure to drop a like and subscribe to my channel. If you'd like me to optimize your network or your PC for you, you can check out the link to my service in the description of this video. That is all for today and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.